All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm back with another video. And the uh, Lord willing, this is edifying and exhorting unto the Spirit. And uh, I'm not going to be too long. I have a few verses to uh, to bring out. And, uh, you know, some points to make and they reference some scriptures and I'll, and I'll be signing out. So I'm in the book of Ecclesiasticus, the first chapter or the book of Sirach. And I'm starting at verse uh, five. It says the word of the most, I'm sorry, the word of Yahweh most high or God. It says God most high is the fountain of wisdom and her ways are everlasting commandments. It says, to whom has the root of wisdom been revealed? Or who has known her wise counsels? And we find the, the wisdom and the counsel of the Heavenly Father and His Son in the, in the Scriptures. Okay? But it's saying, who has that, uh, that wisdom and that counsel been revealed to meaning the uh the understanding of it as we and we're gonna find that out as we read let's read verse seven or read on let's read verse seven it says unto whom has the knowledge of wisdom been made manifest okay and who had understood her great experience it's talking about wisdom right wisdom and knowledge the scriptures tell us in a uh, Proverbs 4 and 7, that wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. But with all thy getting, get understanding. Okay, so the the the, the main thing, well first you the principle, the first thing you gotta get the wisdom, and then with all that you gotta get the understanding according to the scriptures. And the scriptures is asking right here, these verses, who have who have gotten the understanding of the ultimately, who have got the uh understanding of these scriptures you know and the answer to that is the prophets the most high have always dealt with the uh the prophets there's many scriptures that tell us that the uh well let's deal oh, let's deal with this uh amos three and seven okay it says surely the lord god would do nothing but he revealed his secrets unto his servants the prophets it tells us in the book of hebrew hebrews one and one that uh, the Most High spake to, to our forefathers in time past by his servants, the prophets. If you was to key in on the blue letter um, or in the search bar, servants, prophets, many, I'm sure many scriptures will come up. You know, I might, that might be the next video I do. Uh, see how many times that come in, come up in the scriptures. But the scriptures tell us that He's the one that the most high is dealing with is are the are the prophets. Okay, let's go to the time of King David. The prophet, you know, that the the that uh the most high that was dealing with heavily was the prophet Nathan. Okay, Nathan, Nathan the prophet is what brought the word of the most high to King David, right? Let's deal with Samuel. Samuel was the prophet. The Most High was dealing with the prophet Samuel. He anointed Saul. He also anointed King David. Okay. When we read uh, Jeremiah, Isaiah, all the different uh, prophets, right? So that the Most High was, uh, you know, dealing with them. Now they didn't have the uh, the understanding. Some things they understood. A lot of the a lot of that they didn't understand what the Most High was showing them. Whether the angel came, you know, that different angel, the Most High was sending angels to show them, you know, visions, tell them to write down different things, right? Things that were going to come to pass. And um, they didn't understand it back then, but the Most High, they, they wrote it down. And then here in these last days, the Most High, you know, them same prophets have come back to break down those writings. Now, I'll bring this out. Yahweh said to the uh, the twelve, 
the 12 disciples, which became apostles. Okay, Peter, John, James, Andrew, the rest, and the rest of them. Um, Matthew 10, 5, 6, and 7. He told them to go out. Uh, uh, I'm going to paraphrase it. Go not into the, these forth, Yahweh Shai sent, and said, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, nor to enter any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, and as ye go, preach. You know, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And you go into that word preach, it's the same as uh, to prophesy. So if you're preaching, you're supposed to be prophesying. Now, in the book of Romans, the 10th chapter, it says, how can they uh, hear except. Matter of fact, let me get that scripture real quick. The one in Romans, Romans 10. Let me get that real quick. And I, like I said, I'm going to just reference some uh, scriptures and make a point. Who are the most high dealing with? Concerning the understanding, well, you have to look at who's dealing with, who are the prophets, who's going into the prophecies. And I brought out, I made excellent points, you know. The most high, the scriptures say the most high deal with the prophets. Point blank, uh, period. Oh, the greatest office that one can have in the ministry is the, uh, or the greatest gift that you can possess is the gift to prophesy. Read about that in 1 Corinthians, um, what is it, 14 and 1. Now I'm right here in Romans 10, and I'm going to read verse 15. Well, I'll read verse 14. It says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how should they hear without a preacher? So the scriptures let you letting us know that you need a preacher to understand these scriptures. And what is a, a preacher? A preacher is a prophet because the word preacher means to say before, if you go into the etymology of the word. OK, same thing that the word same thing with the word prophet. The word prophet means to say before. OK, so the ones that are the prophets. Or you can use the word preacher as the, according to the scriptures. Those are the ones that the Most High is dealing with. And those are the ones that that's the answer to the questions that's being posed in Sirach. The first chapter I read verse 5, 6 and uh, 7. OK, the one that has the wisdom, knowledge and understanding are the prophets. Now, let's look at. On this planet today, who's dealing with the prophecies of the Bible? Who's prophesying? Who's preaching? And the answer is Great Millstone. There's nobody on the planet Earth that is uh, going into the prophecies, keeping the prophecies in the forefront of their teachings, except Great Millstone. Okay? So, Lord willing, starting, the, 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 starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone on down to all the men around the world that's pushing this truth. And uh, in sincerity. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna close it up right there. Um, you know, once again, I hope this video was edifying and exhorting on to the spirit. And uh, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory once again to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit. And, ta and I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. And peace and blessings. Unto the elect of the nation of Israel, a shallow one.